In this video, I have quite a lot of videos to introduce, so I'll start right away without wasting time. The first gameplay-related mods that I'm going to introduce are, as most of you expected, NPCs Take Cover. This mod makes NPCs smarter and more proactive in dealing with the most cheat-like strategy in Skyrim, where the player attacks NPCs from unreachable places. For example, if an NPC is aiming a bow at an enemy from a high place that cannot be attacked, in the vanilla case, the NPC would just stare at the player. But with this mod, the NPCs will now hide or move to another place if necessary. With this mod, NPCs will judge whether their position is safe and hide behind walls or pillars to avoid enemy attacks. They will also track the enemy's location while hiding and come out and attack or cast spells at the right timing. However, if the NPC's hiding places are exposed or attacked by the enemy, they will try to move to another place. This mod upgrades the NPC's ability to deal with ranged attacks and makes Skyrim's combat more realistic, challenging, and fun. I recommend you to try it out. And next up is Wildwood Echoes. Wildwood Echoes uses Sound Record Distributor to place new ambient sounds in Skyrim's forests. It adds various natural sounds, such as trees cracking and growing, branches breaking, foxes screaming, wolves howling, dogs barking, insects buzzing, frogs croaking, wind blowing softly, and axes chopping. It adds more than 30 new natural sounds to Skyrim's forests, giving them more life and immersion. Experience a higher level of immersion with these new natural sounds. Similar to the previously introduced mod, there's also a mod called Murder of Songbirds. This mod also utilizes the sound record distributor to naturally play various types of bird and bat sounds throughout Skyrim. It adds charming environmental sounds and varies the types of bird sounds based on different times of day. Additionally, it's designed to seamlessly blend into different regions. For instance, in the tundra area, you'll hear hawk sounds while in the forests, the sound of woodpeckers will be present. Near the coast, you'll experience seagull sounds. At night, owl and bat sounds will fill the forest, while during the day, small birds will sing their melodies. Enhance Skyrim soundscapes with this delightful mod. Next up is Animated Carriage. This mod adds real-time moving carriages to Skyrim that arrive and depart from cities and settlements periodically. These carriages are actual objects that can carry items and have NPCs on board that you can talk to. You can also ride the carriages and travel to different locations. Currently, the carriages follow the same route as shown in the video screenshot, but in the future, there might be more options for using this mod, such as other creators adding carriages that travel across the whole Skyrim, or the player being able to control the carriage themselves. This mod has a lot of potential, and it is worth paying attention to its future development. Next up is Snowy Ships for Snowy Regions. This mod, based on the base object swapper, covers all longboats and large ships with snow in snowy environments. If you've ever been bothered by the fact that ships in snowy regions weren't actually covered in snow, this mod might be a must-have for you particularly if you found it odd that ships in places like Dawnstar and Windhelm remained snow-free while everything else was blanketed. This mod allows you to create more natural scenes by adding snowy to those ships. Next up is Whales Off the Coast. This mod plays whale sounds from afar while you explore the coastal regions of Skyrim. Hearing majestic whale calls in the distance can ignite curiosity and enhance the thrill of exploration. The mod supports a total of five different whale sounds, but remember to install the sound record distributor first to use this mod. Next up is Blackreach Eerie Ambience. This mod adds eerie and atmospheric sounds to the Blackreach region. It introduces a variety of genres, including creature sounds, water sounds, wind effects, and ambient audio. Additionally, you have the option to selectively install the water loop sound. 
which captures the unique water ambiance of Blackreach. In this segment, I'd like to introduce a few visual-related mods. First up is Frost VFX Edit. This mod enhances the visual effects of frost and ice spells, making them more fantastic. It adds a touch of elegance to frost particles and strengthens the feeling of icy clouds. Personally, I found it quite appealing. There's even a subtle particle effect, and when I tried it at night, it produced a captivating glow. While frost effects are typically less pronounced compared to fire or shock elements, this mod might just make me favor frost spells more. If you're watching the video, I recommend giving this effect a try. Next up is Ark's Kitchen Redux. This mod remeshes and enhances the kitchen pots and ladles in Skyrim with 2K or 4K textures. It gives the kitchen tools a more refined appearance and adds a touch of realism. Next up is Ark's Kitchen Redux. This mod enhances the Orc Stronghold furniture in Skyrim Special Edition. It completely overhauls the Orc furniture and adds new pillows to the Orc beds. The tables are transformed into circular shapes and the furniture has a rugged wooden feel. While it might be quite rough, it blends well with the Orc strongholds. If you like the sound of that, give it a try. Next up is Wrighton Mossy Pine Forest. This mod upgrades the texture of the green moss-like landscape around the green trees in the forest area of Skyrim while adding a parallax effect. It has a rather bumpy texture that is well expressed and matches well with the surrounding landscape, so I wanted to introduce it to you. The parallax effect is quite noticeable, and I am satisfied with using this mod. In this segment, I'll quickly introduce a few outfit mods. First up is Ashley Graham Hair for Race Menu and Wig. This mod adds Ashley Graham's short blonde hair for female characters using Race Menu. You can use it as a hairstyle or even extract the wig using Atatemenu and wear it. It also features SMP physics effects, giving it an overall innocent yet sexy vibe. Next up is Melodic Assassin Sister. This mod offers a unique lightweight armor set in an assassin, ninja style. It includes two types of weapons and an armor set available in various colors. The mod supports CBBE 3BA and Coco Body CBBE and UUNP body slides. The veil features HDT SMP cloth physics. You can craft this attire and weaponry at any forge or obtain them using Aditim Anu, Ultimate Mod Explorer or Simple Mod Item Spawner. Next up is the Dark Witch Armor. This mod adds a female-only gothic-styled dress with medieval armor to the game. It falls under the category of light armor and provides BHUNP support. The skirt features SMP physics, adding a touch of realism. Additionally, you have the option to use 4K textures if desired. The armor consists of a total of four parts. Keep in mind that you can craft this armor at the forge with the Advanced Armors perk. The Eyesmere Armor SE is the final mod I'd like to introduce. This outfit is designed in the style of ancient Nords, with armor aesthetics that blend seamlessly into the atmosphere of Skyrim. If you also install the Atmoran Battle Axe, you'll be able to wield two-handed axes. Various patches and translations are being developed based on Xtudo's patch. Even if you use it in the format of a vanilla armor replacer, it should complement your character quite well. I highly recommend giving it a try. Thank you very much for watching the video until the end. We will conclude the video here. Subscribing, liking, and enabling notifications greatly support channel growth. See you in the next video. Have a delightful time in Skyrim.